Africa is getting ready to benefit from its maritime domain. More and more states are realizing that African maritime resources have long been underutilized and that future prosperity will require a stronger African maritime presence. Improving maritime security is increasingly important for African countries and several strategies, codes and conventions have been developed. These will enable countries to improve the security of their maritime domains and provide for sustainable development of maritime resources. The African Union, for instance, has created Africa's Integrated Maritime Strategy 2050, known as the AIM Strategy and the Lomé Charter. Each will help to protect Africa from maritime security threats. These include piracy, illegal trafficking, illegal fishing, and disputes related to maritime boundaries. This has not been an easy task. Africa has 38 coastal countries, six island states, many lakes, and several large rivers. Together, these form the African maritime domain. Coordination is crucial, but each country has its own interests and ideas about how to best go forward. One way is to define a shared and common concept and to draw on this when deciding on policy. One such unifying idea is to encourage the development of so-called blue economies or ways to sustainably grow and develop maritime resources and activities. The 2050 AIM strategy mentions billions of dollars worth of resources that can be used by interested states to aid development. These benefits are substantial, derived from activities conducted in a sustainable manner, such as fishing, shipping, shipbuilding, tourism, and resource extraction such as oil, gas, and minerals. Countries like South Africa, Mauritius, and the Seychelles have already developed appropriate maritime development strategies. The challenge is now to encourage others to explore the potential of their own maritime domains. Developing a blue economy is a massive long-term undertaking. While it may take a long time for these to become apparent, the eventual benefits will hugely contribute to Africa's social and economic development and transformation. Development must occur in a maritime domain that is secure and it also needs to occur in a way that leads to healthier oceans. African countries must ensure that ocean governance and environmental protection are prioritized. Blue economy developments in Africa are, however, hampered by insecurity, such as piracy. Effective international counter-piracy efforts, together with strong commitments to local and regional efforts, continue to pave the way for safe and secure seas. However, there is a long way still to go. Maritime security entails much more than fighting piracy. Tasks like the prevention of illegal trafficking also require urgent attention. Security concerns must not dominate at the expense of pursuing development opportunities. Otherwise, we risk perpetuating a state of sea blindness, where we neglect to realize how dependent we all are on the sea for all our livelihoods. Each step taken in developing maritime resources is expected to lead to security improvements and, as revenue increases, so too will the resources to reinvest in new maritime opportunities. Maritime authorities should patrol the seas to improve security, but must also tackle poverty and underdevelopment by building safe, secure and sustainable blue economies. To achieve a safe, secure and sustainable blue economy for Africa and its people, several immediate interventions are needed. Greater awareness must be raised, especially amongst decision-makers, to generate the political will and leadership needed to boost African blue economies. Commitment is required to implement each strategic plan of action starting in 2017 with 2050 AIM strategy. 
the AU must ring-fence the resources and expertise needed to create a Department of Maritime Affairs. States have created the strategic frameworks needed for them to navigate towards the goal of a safe and secure maritime domain that will create a blue economy. They now need to implement these strategies, codes and conventions. For more information, please visit the ISS website at www.issafrica.org to review its ongoing maritime security research.